morning, viewers. Bien desear. Here's the breaking news. Yeah. Russia on Saturday, September 21st, yesterday was forced to invoke an emergency situation in the city of Tikhorsk. Take a order evacuation following Ukrainian strikes on two munitions depots. Ukraine's military general staff wrote on telegram that a train carrying 2,000 tons of munitions was standing on the depot at the time of the strike. Ukraine claimed the sites also hosted missiles that arrived from North Korea. The Tik Hortstake facility is in the top three largest munitions storages of the occupiers and is one of the key points in the Russian military logistical system, the statement said. According to media reports, Ukraine used drones in the attack targeting Tik Hortstake in southern Russia and Okaya Braksky in the western region of Tevar. Following the attacks, Krasondev Regional Governor Bhenia Min Kondriatev said on social media that a local emergency situation regime has been introduced to organize assistance to people and promptly resolve all issues related to the incident. As Kaip presses the Western nations to allow it to use long range weapons to launch strikes deep inside Russian territory, it has relied upon long range drones to fill the permanent gap with its mighty neighbor. Saturday's operation was jointly carried out by Ukraine's domestic SBU intelligence service and the military. Now Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is hoping for quick action from the United States to send more weapons to the war-torn country ahead of his visit to the White House next week. He is expected to present his victory plan to the US President Joe Biden which reportedly mentions long-range strike support Zelensky is hoping to meet Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, her running mate Tim Walsh and ex-US President Donald Trump during his visit. Zelensky has warned that the longer Western partners wait to allow the use of long-range missiles, the more tactically obsolete their value will come. Bendas, exclusive report.